Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the latest release from the Rocky Linux team version 9.3. Packed with new features, changes, and upgrades, this release aims to enhance the user experience and address some key issues from the previous version. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest tech insights. Now, let's jump right into the details of Rocky Linux 9.3. One of the standout features is the return of cloud and container images for PPC64LE, resolving issues that were encountered in the 9.2 release. Although there may be some minor differences between these images and those of other architectures, the team is committed to minimizing these divergences in future releases. Before you hit that update button, be aware of a couple of breaking changes. Azure images for Rocky Linux 9.3 will now be published under a new publisher name, RESF. This change streamlines the publisher name, making it more user-friendly. Additionally, the optional guest agents group, previously available in both the minimal install and custom operating system base environments, is no longer selectable as additional software. Make sure to consult the release notes for a comprehensive understanding of these changes. During the testing phase, the KDE Live image for Rocky Linux 9.3 encountered some problems, and as a result, the team decided to provide the older 9.2 images until a fully functional 9.3 image is available. This is a transparent move by the team to ensure users have access to a stable version while they address the issues with the KDE Live image. Let's explore some of the exciting highlights in Rocky Linux 9.3. The return of these images addresses issues with Kimu and aims to reduce the delta between architectures in future releases. The kernel RT package has been merged into a sub-package of the kernel, streamlining the package structure. Additionally, a new kernel Uki package has been introduced as a technology preview, offering a unified kernel image variant for booting. This UKI image is signed with its own secure boot key, enhancing security measures. The introduction of Java 21 OpenGAAC brings a new version of Java to Rocky Linux 9.3, ensuring users have access to the latest improvements and features in the Java environment. If you're using AWS AMI images, note that they now set the boot mode parameter to UFE preferred, enhancing compatibility and performance. The team provides a link to a bug report for further details on this improvement. Rocky Linux takes stability seriously. Before the release, Rocky Linux 9.3 underwent a week of thorough testing, involving hundreds of manual and automated checks across various environments and configurations. The testing logs, discussions, and the release checklist are available for those interested in the meticulous process. The team encourages users to join the discussion on chat.rockylinux.org, providing a transparent platform for user engagement. For existing users of Rocky Linux 9, Upgrading to 9.3 is a straightforward process. Whether you prefer the terminal with DNF update or the desktop with GNOME software, KDE Discover, etc., the choice is yours. Moreover, users of other enterprise Linux 9 distributions can seamlessly upgrade and convert to Rocky Linux 9.3 using the Migrate to Rocky conversion script, ensuring a smooth transition. In conclusion, Rocky Linux 9.3 brings a slew of improvements and new features to the table. From the return of cloud and container image to kernel updates and the introduction of the latest Java version, the team has been hard at work addressing issues and enhancing user experience. As always, if you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe.